Hello, it's Brenda here with Be Balanced Art. We're going to be doing a really quick and easy pour today. I think this is a perfect pour for beginners that don't like to spend a lot on materials but want some beautiful art. And this will be a swipe, a no silicone swipe at that. So, let's start out. I have... Sax Violet, Liquitex Basics Neon Pink, Artist Loft Brilliant Red, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Light, Liquitex Basics Phthalo Green, Liquitex Basics Light Green, Deco Art Peacock Pearl. Liquitex Basics, Phthalo Blue, and Artist Loft White. This will be a swipe. <clears throat> First, we're going to start by just, and once again, using a pre used canvas. This one was actually really pretty, but in the center, I had lumps that would not come out without damaging it, so. It has to go. This is going to have a lot of color in it. And like I said, this is like the easiest pour you can do. It's really very simple. Oop, helps if I pop the cap back off. There we go. I should have, well, let me put one more color on top. I don't want too much white at the top. And there we go. Put my caps back on. The first thing I'm going to do I'm going to swipe to get a good spread on these colors. Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to swipe again with the white in a minute. Just touching up the sides a little bit with this while I've got the paint on it. Just makes it a little bit easier to get coverage on the sides. Okay. Now let's pop these air bubbles. I use used canvases a lot. If I'm not, if I look at a painting and say I can do better, I usually paint over. I don't want to keep anything that I don't think is as good as I can do. So, now we're going to use our white, which is going to be our swipe color.
I'm trying the camera at a new angle. Hopefully this works. I want plenty of white because I want this swipe to run all the way down. All right, let's try it. Make sure you're making really good contact with the swipe color. Sometimes these paper towels want to curl up and that does not lend itself to being a good swipe. So you got to give them a little encouragement. I'm going to go slow because I really want to pull this white with me as far as I can. I was hoping to bring more white with me, but this will have to do. Now you can once again use this to get all the places that you didn't get good coverage with the first. But I think I've got pretty decent coverage, especially since it was painted over before. There we go. Torch it one more time. Now, a lot of you want to make cells, but you don't want to use silicone. And you don't want to have to clean up after. Well, this is a cheater's way to do that. <laughs> there will be no silicone. I'm going to make cells using this. This is a spray bottle that I bought from Home Depot. And inside of it, I mixed a mixture of 30% dish soap and 70% water. And I stand back several feet, three or four feet, and spray this up into the air. Now I'll torch it, and if you look, you can see it's making dish soap cells. You have to make sure you get all the bubbles because they will keep popping up for a little while because you use dish soap. But look at the lacing I'm getting from this. And I might even tilt it some and see if I can push the white back that way since it didn't come all the way down for me. And it might grow some of the cells, but I don't know if there's enough paint on here at this point now. Nope. So I'm going to take and I'm going to swipe the white that way. Try to give it get a thinner cover. I've never done that before, but... My cells are coming out really nice, so let's give it a shot. Got to try new things, right? Or else you'll never know. I'll lay it in the white. Try to make good contact with the white again. This time we're dragging this way. Bubbles. And grab the dish soap again. 70% water, 30% dish soap. Be 
didn't work as well as I'd hoped because I do have my swipe line. But I will try one more time to tilt it because my cells are actually coming out really pretty on the bottom here. I don't think this is going to move because I actually used the right amount of paint. So my biggest problem is my white line. Hit a drip there. Like I said, never tried this way before, but I figured it was worth a shot because I was actually really liking this painting except for that white line. Still got a bit of a white line. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in and show you now because I'm not going to be able to get this any better. And I'm sorry it didn't come out any better than this, but I got some awesome cells. And you can do this very easy. I made a mistake. I should have put more white. I should have done white a couple places to drag it down, but I did not. I will try this again later and do it that way. But right now, look at the cells. This created some beautiful cells. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show this because um, mistakes happen. Nobody's perfect. Definitely not me. And so I am going to uh, go ahead and put this on YouTube. That way people can see that uh, I make mistakes for sure, <laughs> too. I'm sure you've seen several already. But uh, nothing, nobody's perfect. So for now, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please try this at home. See if you get better results than I did. You can make a very beautiful piece of art like this very easily, very inexpensively. No silicone, no mess to clean up. Um, so for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. This is Brenda with Be Balanced Art. And bye-bye.